Welcome to part three of Pokemon Brick Bronze. If you haven't checked out the first two episodes, you should probably do that. And for people asking how to play the game, I'll put a pinned comment saying step by step on how to do it. But yeah, enjoy. I continue on to Route 10 after getting my Honich, where I then beat this trainer and continue on to the Kraganos Mines. And this is one of the most annoying parts of the game, because every step is a chance for an encounter, and there are like 20 trainers throughout the mine, and I cannot deal with it. By the way, I'm doing the strat where I send in my lowest level Pokemon first and then switch it out for a Pokemon that's good against the Pokemon I'm going against, so we can get full XP into the battle. Oh! I just stepped on the Rallid on it, excuse me. What the body, you mean? That's who you could be. You're too bad you're not. Look, it's another one. You look. You look. You look. You look. You look. You look. Look at that, Eevee. Look at that. That's gonna be you. That's gonna be Rona. You're so mean! Ooh, that's clean. No encounter. What is this? Why is there a shrine to Ente? Oh, yep, it's his girlfriend. Anthean City? No. Oh, in the sky, okay. Yep. We get to Anthean City and meet up at a Pokeball shop where we talk to this guy named Gerald. What Gerald basically mentioned is that he used to go on a lot of adventures with Tess's parents, but now they're missing. He also knows my parents, because apparently they're world famous archaeologists, and the Pokemon of Team Eclipse is trying to find is in Crescent Island. But once I left, I went to the battle district and made my way to the flying gym. And this, seriously, was the hardest gym battle so far. Let me show you. You. Battle me. Wait, I still have easy up front. Stop. Yes. Why are you so slow? You're slow than a Wubat. Or, or Zubat. Oh no. Four times. There we go. What am I supposed to do? You. Mm -hmm. I wonder who you could be. Definitely a gym leader. Hey, can you move this? There we go. That's right. Okay, there's a wrench. Come on! Yeah. Oh no! Okay. Oh. Come on, come on. Yes, okay. Yes. Hammer. You're measuring. Whoa, who are you? Oh, it's the gym leader! What did you do? Yes! Finally, new flying move! Ooh. Oh no. No! Evil! Um. Blade. He's a flying type! Okay. Oh, he's dead! I outspeed. Okay, Bruce, now. What are you doing? Alright, 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 alright. Alright. Talon Flame can do this. We can just keep on being Bruce. Oh no. Take. Oh, crit. Okay. There's two more. Go. Oh, okay. Okay, you burn. Bye-bye! Okay. 
last Pokemon. Yeah, that's that's gonna do a lot of damage. I don't think I have a lot of, uh, Bruce left, okay. I'd say that's manageable. Okay. Oh, that's, that's easy. What's the problem? Who's not scared at all? That's right. What TM are you gonna give? Fly! There it is! Wait, did you give me fly? Where is my fly? Where is it? I then meet up with Tess and Gerald, and Gerald mentions how Team Eclipse is blocking the exit of Anthean City. So, he suggests that me and Tess go underground to the sewers and out, so we don't have to deal with them. Now, I could show you all the individual battles we had, but I'm just gonna show you the parts where Tess was being really dumb. Bro. You're a ground type. What? You're already dead. Oh. Sad head. Fracture, can you help out? Why are you bee dancing? Oh, look at that. We got a dual blade. Alright, I don't know why. Like, do you not have a ground? Oh, oh my gosh, why is all your moves not affected? Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? You had dig this entire time. Also, steel types, electric types, you have or whatever you do, but when those are fighting type. No. Cancel, cancel. <gasps> we then get out of the sewers and find that Jake is, um, being stolen by Team Eclipse. But then find out, who is this uh, big boss? He's just some guy. Oh my god, that's my professor. He basically mentioned how he had no friends as a child, and his only friend were Pokemon, so he became a professor to observe Pokemon, but realized people use them to fight other Pokemon. Which I mean, yeah, that's true, but you don't have to become evil. So the reason why he started Team Eclipse is to just wipe out the whole world and move Pokemon to a different place. Probably killing a lot of Pokemon in the process, but I mean, it's such a great idea, you know? And before they're about to leave, Tess stops Cypress and asks them for a battle. And, uh, she's not the one battling. I am, apparently. And then I see Zapsil, which I apparently saw on Route 10. Don't remember that, but alright. And the Absol wants to battle with me, I, I guess. But don't worry, he comes equipped with a Mega Keystone. That's a Cypress. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, that's crazy. Oh! Crazy. Crazy. Cypress then says that there's nothing we can do. Anthem City will be destroyed with everyone on it because Team Eclipse implanted a bomb underground. He even gave us the key to the room where the bomb is stored, knowing full well we can never get to it. <sighs> it's, it's game over. We have no chance. Until. Not enough time to warn anyone. I need to figure out. Might be too late. I can't move my left. Am I gonna. What, are, what, am I, what am I supposed to do with that? My bronze brick. My bronze. <laughs> oh no! Oh, no 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 no! Okay. If you don't know who these two are, the blue one, Dialga, the white ones, Palkia, and they're the gods of space and time, and were some of the four Pokemon that created the Pokemon world. Okay, what do we do? Maybe you can help us.
뭐. 뭐. What power did I all go? So basically, Dialga uses time powers to send us back in time to where we were in the sewers. So we can go into the core room, unlock it with the key that Professor Cypress gave us, and stop the bomb from activating. Oh no. Yo, how did you just get in here? Doesn't matter. We're here to stop you. Well, I have you know that I'm a team admin. Not exactly a pushover. Want to stop me right now? You'll have to beat me to battle. No problem. That's right. I'll destroy you. What do you got, huh? You look weird, anyways. Dooblade. Nothing happens! Another electrode? I have a small feeling. Easy game! You brought a whole team of explosion electrodes. Okay. Boy, if this thing somehow explodes, I'm gonna actually lose it. And... There we go. Oh, Lunatorn as well? And just like the Soul Rock. It goes down. I'm sorry, you're not good at the game. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna save you the app session. Basically, we just saved Anthean City and I think a third of Rorier, and Gerald comes in and explains how Team Eclipse stole a bottle from a museum that summons Hoopa. Hoopa is basically a mythical Pokemon with two different forms, bound and unbound form, unbound being much stronger, and is able to create portals to other worlds. Now, they only have the bottle to unleash Hoopa, but apparently they have to find Hoopa on Crescent Island stored away in a tomb, the tomb being created by Arceus. And apparently my bronze brick is the key to opening said tomb. And with that, thank you for watching part three. Wait. This is what I forgot to do. I do the, use this. Bob. Dun, 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 dun. So glad we got music back. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. They just left.